In part 2 of this video, we found out that we could solve this equation by isolating one root at a time and squaring both sides. When we did this, we ended up with two possible solutions, x equals negative 3 and x equals negative 1. However, as usual with square roots and other even roots, before we say this is our final answer, we must first check these answers in the original problem. That's what we're going to do now. Let's first check x equals negative 3. Plugging that in for each of the x's, we end up with the square root of 1 minus 8x, or negative 3, minus the square root of 16x, or negative 3, minus 12, hopefully will equal 1. Multiplying inside each of those radicals gives us the square root of 1 plus 24, minus the square root... Oops, that's negative 16. Helps if I copy the problem right. Equals the square root of 48 minus 12, hopefully will equal 1. Adding, we end up with the square root of 25, minus the square root of 36, which hopefully will equal 1. Square root of 25 is 5, the square root of 36 is 6, and when we subtract, we actually get negative 1 equals positive 1. This clearly does not work, and so we must throw the negative 3 out, as it is an extraneous solution, and does not work in the original problem. Let's check the other answer to see if it works, or if it doesn't work either, and there would be no solution. Plugging it in to the original equation, we would have the square root of 1 minus 8x, which is negative 1, minus the square root of negative 16x, which is negative 1, minus 12. Hopefully, this will equal 1. Multiplying, to start the problem off, we get the square root of 1 plus 8, minus the square root of 16 minus 12, hopefully will equal 1. 1 plus 8 is 9, and 16 minus 12 is 4. Hopefully, this will equal 1. The square root of 9 is 3, and the square root of 4 is 2, and sure enough, when we subtract those, we get 1 equals 1. This is a true equation, and so the only answer that works in this problem is x equals negative 1. It is very important that you remember, if you have an even root, which you clear with an even exponent, you check your answer to see if it's extraneous and needs to be thrown out, or if it works and can be part of our actual solution.